Hi, welcome to the homework for grade three, module one, lesson three. I try to keep these videos short, so uh, if I'm rushing it, which I'm going to have to, uh, just pause the video, go back over the parts you want to see again. Uh, you can also feel free to skip ahead. And don't forget to write your name. Do that first. So you don't forget later. You want to get credit for what you're, what you're going to do. Solve problems 1 through 4 using the pictures. There are five pineapples in each group. How many pineapples are there in five groups? So there's five in each group. Right? There's five there, five there, five there, five there, five there. How many are there in all five groups together? So how many number of groups? There's one, two, three, four, there's five groups. The size of each group is five. That's five times five. And we could just count them all if you had to. Or count them by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. There are 25 pineapples altogether. Bottom half of the page. There are how many apples in each basket? One, two, three. There's four in each basket. So there are four apples in each basket. How many apples are there in six baskets? So the number of groups is one, two, three. Five. There's six groups. There's size of each group is the four. That's the four apples in each one. Six times four. There's 24 apples there. There are 24 apples altogether. Next page. There are four bananas in each row. All right. One, two. All right. How many bananas are there in? And there are one, two, three, four rows. The rows go across. Number of rows, four. Size of each row, four bananas. So that's four times, times four is already there. And you could count them all. There's 16 there. There are 16 bananas altogether. Number four. There are how many peppers in each row? Three. How many peppers are there in six rows? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows in this array. Number of rows, there are six. Size of each row is three in each row. So we have six times three, 18. We've been practicing this one. Six times three equals 18, or three times six equals 18. Practice that in lesson one homework and lesson two homework. And here it is again. There are 18 peppers altogether. And we're going to keep going. Here's number five, and we're almost done. Draw an array using factors four and two. Now, factors are numbers that you multiply. So that would be our multiplication equation would be four times two. That's an expression. I'm going to make it an equation by writing an equal sign. Four times two equals eight. Then show a number bond where each part represents the amount in one row. So first thing we're going to do is draw an array, and then we're going to draw a number bond. So the array could be either four, four factors, four and two could either be two rows of four, or you could have four rows of two. Either one of these will work. And then show uh, a, a number bond where each part represents the amount in one row. So for this one, we're going to have different number bonds depending on which depending on which array you draw. So for this one, the total number of circles is going to be 
eight circles, right? And then we we have a row of four and another row of four. Now this looks like most of the number bonds, all the other number bonds you've seen in kindergarten, first and second grade, they're two-part number bonds. But in multiplication, this is going to be similar, the same thing as repeated addition. There's going to be more than just two numbers to make the total. In this case, it's going to be four numbers. So we still have the same total because there's still eight circles. But we've got, remember that each part represents the amount in one row. So in here, the rows are, these are rows of two. So that means this has to be a two. And then we're going to have another two. And we're going to have to have four twos here. So this number bond is going to look, it's going to have four legs or whatever you want to call them. Four twos. So you're either going to have this, and this, this multiplication equation really, four rows of two, really kind of goes with that array. This one, the multiplication equation, we write it more like two rows of four equals eight.